the 35 media members who cover Pac-12 football voted for Utah. They voted Utah as the favorite to win the Pac-12. Oi. Um, man. Uh, on one hand, this is really, really cool. Like, Utah getting some recognition, I like. Um, I love, I love, I love Utah's head coach, Kyle Whittingham. I think he's awesome. And it's kind of cool to finally see Kyle Whittingham and Utah getting some respect because Kyle, again, is one of the best, most underrated coaches in all of college football. Now, the Pac-12 media, though, they love Utah's defense. That's why they were voted to win the conference is the media loves Utah's defense. And I love their defense, too. But if you're listening to the show and you've listened for a long time, then you know I have great admiration for Utah's program. I love, love, love Utah football. I think they do things the right way. Um, I like them so much that when I was looking for a place to play football again, when I left Washington State, I was trying to like, where am I going to transfer to go play football? I had a list of schools to walk on. Utah was one of those schools. I love, I love, I love Utah. I love their culture. I love their coach. I love Salt Lake City. Everything about Utah is great. But their defense is the thing that everyone's falling in love with. And to me, offense wins in college football, particularly in the Pac-12. You want an offensive-led team in, in college football. Utah's defense is incredible. But eventually, a good defense is going to slip up and have a bad game. They're going to give up like 35 points to some random team like UCLA. And you go, what? That's just how, that's what happens. Every time I see a defensive-led team in college football, they slip up at some point and they lose. Offense, to me, especially in the Pac-12, is what matters. And so to me, when I look around the Pac-12, I think Oregon has a great chance to win the Pac-12. I think that's who, that's one of the favorites I would give, is I love Justin Herbert, their quarterback. Uh, I love their coach, Mario Cristobal. I, I really like what Oregon's doing in Eugene. I think they have a good chance to win the Pac-12. Another team I think has a good chance to win the Pac-12 is USC. No one's talking about USC. I think they're a dark horse. Um, you know, I, I really... I kind of understand why no one likes them. To me, they're a dark horse because their offensive coordinator, Graham Harrell, is fantastic. They have a really good quarterback, JT Daniels, and they have a ton of offensive weapons. When you get a guy, a good coach, like they have a finally, 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 USC got a good offensive coordinator. And everybody in the Pac-12 media is like, well, a new offensive coordinator, it's going to be really hard. They're going to really struggle because they got to make adjustments. Dude, how about you just be excited that for the first time in forever, USC's not just running a boring, stagnant defense. I think USC's our offense. I think USC's offense is going to be great this year. And that's because they got a new offensive coordinator, they shouldn't be penalized for that. I think you should predict them to be good because they have an offensive coordinator. People are like, new offensive coordinator, we're going to struggle, bro. It's like, no, 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 no. New offensive coordinator, they're going to be great because that's what happens when you make changes and you fix bad problems with your program if there's a problem and you fix it that's usually a good thing not a bad thing but the media whatever they don't understand um now frankly the team i would pick though if i had to pick if i had a gun to my head zach who do you think is going to win the pac-12 you know it's but i'd probably get banned from youtube for doing this um ultimately i think washington should be the favorite to win the pac-12 uh i love their head coach chris peterson he's a legendary coach he used to coach boise state for years i loved him at boise um, they, also, they have a great roster, and, and rosters win in college football. They have a great roster, and I, I'm pretty sure that Jacob Eason is going to be their starting quarterback. If it's not, I think Jake Hayner, if Jake Hayner can beat out Jacob Eason, uh, he's good too. But I think Jacob Eason's a future NFL quarterback. Um, I'm surprised, actually, it's taken so long. They still haven't announced him the starter for week one. Um, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, and Jacob Eason will not be the starter at Utah and at, at, well, at Washington. Maybe, maybe Jacob Eason gets beat out at Washington. And will not be the starter. So I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong about Utah. And if I'm wrong about Utah and they, in fact, win the Pac-12, I'll be very, very happy because I really love their head coach, Kyle Whittingham. Um, but I just do not see Utah winning the Pac-12. I think it's going to be Washington, Oregon, or maybe even USC. It could come out of nowhere. And Stanford's no slouch, but Utah's not the team I would pick to win the Pac-12. I like Utah. I've always loved Utah. Their program is great. But I do not believe that they are the team that will win the Pac-12 this year. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It is my favorite thing in the entire world. And you may not know, um, my dream when I graduate college eventually is to do this show as my full-time job. Uh, now, I also want to be very upfront and honest about my plan and what's going on. I recently monetized my YouTube channel. What that means is that 
some of my videos make money through ad revenue. Uh, now, it's fewer than you think. A lot of my videos get claimed. Um, but in the past, I've received donations through the form of PayPal and Patreon.com. PayPal.me forward slash Zach Schaumler. Patreon.com forward slash Zach Schaumler. So because I'm making ad revenue, it felt weird to just get donations. I wanted to give something back to the people who support me on Patreon. So now there's a reward. If you support me on Patreon, you can submit questions at the, at the dollar level or above. You just need to give a dollar a month. If you do that, you can submit questions to a pool of questions where I look at. I read all the questions on Patreon, and I pick the top couple every episode and read them and answer them on a, a segment called Ask Zach. I pick the top couple questions um, and answer them at the end of every single episode. Now, that's for people who want to support me with money. If you have no money to give, I totally understand. I've actually never supported anybody on Patreon. I feel kind of weird about that. I'm a broke college kid myself. I totally understand. Um, but if you believe in me and you, if you believe in my dream and still want to help me, one thing you can do is help me grow by telling your friends about Strong Opinion Sports. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. Help me grow by telling your friends about Strong Opinion Sports. Guys, thank you so much. I know that was a long spiel. I really appreciate it. And I uh, hope you have a great day.